about my everyday wife life and I am going to be making chicken cacciatore. I know last week I made eggplant parmesan and I promised y'all a recipe for that, but that will have to be next week. I'm going to make chicken cacciatore just because I had a craving. So I have thawed out my chicken and I am going to make a bunch because I wanted to use up this chicken. And um, so, and I'm going to make this differently than I usually do. I usually um, saute the um, vegetables in the pan. And this time, I think I'm going to try roasting them first. So I have a roasting pan over here. And um, just a little side note, I started using parchment paper a couple of months ago because the aluminum foil is, um, the food absorbs the aluminum and that is not good for you. Aluminum is not good for you. So stop buying deodorant that has aluminum in it too. So anyway. So I'm going to put the vegetables in the mixing bowl and with a little bit of olive oil and some Italian seasoning. I don't have much left, but I'll have to make do and some, and I have some olive oil and uh, some salt and pepper. And I'm going to put it on the roasting pan and get that started while I um, cook the chicken. And I already have some rice going over here. It's cooking. I think I need to turn it up a little bit not hot enough and that was just some plain brown rice that I have so um the only thing I didn't do is I bought these and it's not low sodium but the sodium on it is not horrible so I just didn't think of it when I was buying it but I'm starting to pay more attention to that kind of thing and the reason I'm doing that again is because I am sodium sensitive I just can't seem to lose weight unless I keep my sodium low. Alright, so I'm going to mix up these vegetables in the bowl and put them in the oven. two big chunks and I'm going to put it in the um, iron cast skillet and saute it and um, with a little salt and pepper and put some olive oil in there and I got a little olive oil in the pan I got it turned on I'm gonna wait till it heats up a little bit and then put the chicken in there and while that's cooking I'm gonna clean up the kitchen and then I'll come back and um, let's see the rice is now too high. <laughs> I need to turn that down a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna get cooking on this chicken. <laughs> just the fire roasted Hunt's fire roasted tomatoes with garlic Oops. the cover guy in there yes stir it up I'm just gonna let that simmer for a little bit I don't really, the only bad thing about using the cast iron skillet, I think I said earlier, the iron cast skillet, yes, the cast iron skillet, the only thing bad about that is um, I don't have a cover for it, so I'm going to see if I can find a cover big enough and let that um, simmer for a little bit until the vegetables are done. Okay, 
the vegetables are done. I stick it under the, the broiler for a, mi a minute or two at the very end. And the um, chicken and the stewed tomatoes is um, stewing. <laughs> so I'm going to plate this up. I was going to go ahead and put the vegetables into the um, chicken and the stewed tomatoes. That's normally what I do anyway. I usually saute, saute in the pan. But you know what? I'm just going to put them on top. And I'm going to plate it up. I have some bowls already here. It's just easier in a bowl. And I already have some containers back here. So I can put the extra. I think there might be more than that. And I'm going to sprinkle some um, of this Parmesan cheese on top. Alright, I'm going to plate it up and show you what it looks like. Okay, it's all plated up and this is what it looks like. Oh my god, it looks delicious. I think I really like roasting the vegetables instead of cooking them in there. I think it probably has a richer taste, um, as always, when you roast vegetables. And I did only put a half a cup of rice in the bottom for each of us, so I am starting to measure things. I don't know how to calculate the rest of it. There was probably about a pound and a half of chicken. So that it's making five servings. I, I separated the um, the rest that was left to see how much that was going to make. So I'll just I don't know figure out the calories. If I remember, I'll put the the um, how many calories it is down below and everything. But it's kind of hard to calculate it when you got uh, it all mixed up like that. So I don't know. I'm really happy how that turned out. And um, yeah, I will put. The recipe ish, you know, this is uh, I this is just my own take on chicken cacciatore. Um, I you know, you guys, I always wing it, whatever I feel like doing. You know, I added eggplant this time. It's not uh, you know an exact science, <laughs> whatever. So this is just how I make my chicken cacciatore. I did find a recipe on Clean Adam eating magazine if you would like that I will put the link down below but I also just put kind of like the ingredients that I use today and um, hopefully the calories if I can calculate it all right that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed this chicken cacciatore recipe enjoy your day